I've always enjoyed acting um, because I love movies. I, I love cinema. Um, but I never saw myself actually becoming an actor. I did theater when I was younger uh, and I enjoyed it, but I never really thought of it as a, as a career. And um, once I was cast in The Girlfriend Experience by Steven Soderbergh, that really changed everything for me because uh, I really look up to him. I'm also a fan of his and I said, well, if somebody like this believes in me and somebody like this gives me a chance, why not? I consider myself a cinephile. And so I'm, I'm, I can be a very particular viewer but I can also, of cinema, but I can also be a passive viewer and just really enjoy the spectacle and, and magic in a movie. As you say, when I was a kid, I really loved um, Wizard of Oz and uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, and I was a child and these things were beautiful and magical to me and I think I developed a curiosity and, and an interest um, unlike my friends. And that was very clear to me from a young age. When I buy a ticket to see a film, I of course hope that it's everything I imagine it to be and I hope that I'll enjoy it. Um, when, I, when I went to see La Granda Bellezza last year, um, I was very nervous because I read a, I read a few reviews um, and remarks where people were very critical and said, oh, Sorrentino is just trying to be Fellini and um, what is he doing that's different? So I didn't really know how I would feel going into it, um, but I was still excited and I saw the film and I loved it. I saw it three times in the theater um, because I came out feeling a certain way and, and saying like, oh, this is what movies should look like. This is how the, the photography of movies should be. And it really, you know, whenever you see movies like that, or whenever I see movies like that, it reinvigorates um, that passion. Right now in this time, of, time and place, it, a lot of it has to do with the photography of, of films. And everything is handheld and too many fast camera movements, too many cuts, too much editing. Um, where it feels like you're just watching uh, a montage, like you're watching a music video. And, and so my relation to going into a movie is that I, I hope that I'm not disappointed. <laughs> Filming Open Windows was a very, very strange experience, uh, mainly because as actors, we were acting alone. Um, and sometimes it was a very uh, sort of scary feeling portraying this character because I've had to deal with uh, scary situations in my in my own life. Um, luckily, never like Jill has had to deal with because it is a movie. But, um, you know, some of these things hit close to home, I guess you could say. I, I think something visually that hasn't really been done before. And Nacho is such a funny guy and he, he always has uh, a tone in his films that's uniquely his. And I think that's a rare thing today. When I read a script that, um, that I'm interested in as an actor, uh, I, I read very visually, and so I do tend to picture it in a way that I would, I, I would, I would as a viewer, um, definitely. But also I have to be more critical because it's going to be a role that either does something great for me and challenges me, or it could be a role that um, maybe I feel indifferent about. When I have a, a really clear picture of what's on the page, that's when I usually know to trust my instinct and know, okay, I think this could be a very interesting film. When it's a good read, when it's a clean read. Um, and that's how I sort of rely on my instincts. And of course, a lot of it also has to do with the filmmaker. You never know. I've, uh, in order to tap into certain emotions, you have to rely on your previous experiences. Uh, which is why it's important for me to continue to learn and grow as a person. Um, enjoying the pleasures of life as experiences uh, that make me richer rather than passive experiences. Do things in life that will make me a richer performer. And sometimes that's a positive thing for the body and sometimes that's not. Uh, and obviously, 
women face very different things than men do. Uh, and which is why who knows how I'll feel in another 10 years, you know, in another 20 years. These evolutions in life, um, I, I, I try and see from more of a creative developmental point of view and will hopefully open up other doors for me. Um, so and I think that's the most important thing is never feeling um, stuck and trying to feel and stay true to myself.